Okay, okay, okay. Now to clear a few things up, to clear a few things up when it comes to Vietnam. All right, so I got my mask on. Uh, we're going in our third week of um, self-quarantine slash, um, it's not really a lockdown. We don't, we're not in a lockdown. People can still get out, go for a walk, do different things if they want. Yeah, you only go out and get your necessities, stuff like that. Do not socialize in groups more than five. And um, basically, as you can see behind me, um, it's really not anyone. But just to clear up some misconceptions, that's the dog barking, uh, clear up some mis misconceptions of Vietnam. Misconceptions is that uh, in this time during the, uh, the, the um, epidemic slash pandemic that's uh, spreading throughout the world and causing a lot of havoc and problems, Vietnam has done a great job in terms of maintaining the spread of coronavirus. But not to misunderstand uh, our lockdown situation over here where um, they made a two week, I think it's between from the 28th to the 15th from the 28th, was the 28th of last month to the 15th of April, we have what you call self-quarantine, all businesses, most, I'll say almost 90% of the businesses are closed. Um, probably, probably, probably 80%, 80% of the businesses are closed, coffee shops are closed, but there are stipulations. The stipulation is that um, coffee shops, some coffee shops, if they choose to be open, not every single one because sometimes you have like little mom and pop coffee shops and it's not worth staying open but the bigger coffee shops who really want to stay open if they want to from what i understand even my buddy actually owns a coffee shop you know uh, uh, understand this you can serve up to five customers per t uh, uh, per time at your coffee shop seated as long as they sit apart from each other two outside of five if, if the sixth person comes into your coffee shop you only they only could do takeout right takeout so don't misunderstand that all right the other part of it is that you can go out and buy food and get your you know, get your essentials and your necessities such as you know milk bread blah 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 if you need medicine there a lot of the uh, pharmaceutical places I mean a uh, lot of the um, the, pharmac the pharmacies are open if you need to get medicine and such, right? So that's about it. Do not socialize in groups more than five or ten. I think that's what it is. Wear a protective mask everywhere you go. But that, that doesn't say, that they, they're not being like, um, they're not drilling it. I mean, because for the most part, most Vietnamese people are very good in wearing protective masks. Like, I, before I came here, I never wore one, but now I wear one almost every day. Um, in my local neighborhood, the thing is about uh, about Vietnam too is that some people if you walk around your neighborhood it's, it's not a problem some people do I do sometimes I don't sometimes I mean you, we have to look at it for what it is right the other part of this is that a lot of people are saying it's a lockdown it's a lockdown it's not really a lockdown Vietnamese people are very very particular when it comes to catching anything so they will wear protective masks they will take every precaution necessary to prevent the spread of anything right on the other hand is time if you see a video of of, of Vietnam and people in Vietnam um, not out and about judging on the time period like say for instance it's around uh, how can I say it says so for instance, it's, it's around maybe between 10 between 10 to 2 in the afternoon there's barely going to be anybody out on a bar because the hotter it gets, Vietnamese people don't like to be out. Most, I'll say, not most, but a good portion of Vietnamese people do not like to be out when it's really hot, right? Because you know it's hot. I, believe me, when I first got here to Vietnam almost a year and a half ago, I was like, "Where's everybody? It's so beautiful out." My my wife said to me, she said, Vietnamese people do not like to be out in the sun too much because they don't want. It. Some of them don't want to get really dark. Some of them. Uh, um, you know don't like to get too tan or whatever I mean to each their own right but at the same time if you see a video with someone saying hey where you know it's a lockdown and in uh, and, and, and everyone is is, in, is 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 there's no one out it's like a ghost town and all that stuff don't believe the hype seriously don't believe that this is actually my next door neighbor's uh, coffee coffee shop right here it's called Woodhouse Cafe 
if you can see with House Cafe, this is my next door neighbor, she lives right, we're right next to each other. As you can see in the sign, right there, I'm gonna actually back up to the sign, you know, that's the sign letting everyone know that they're closed during coronavirus, okay? Um, and so on. But aside from that, uh, like I was saying, it, depending on the time, some of the things people will come out, you will barely see anyone out except for maybe people that's working, going to and fro from certain things. I mean, to and fro from maybe the shop or wherever they're going to when it comes to uh, 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 a certain time period. Um, depending on where you are. If you're in like Saigon or Ho Chi Minh City, people are going to be frocking. But here in Central Vietnam, you know, you're going to see people out at different times. Like I said, if it's a between a time period of 11 o'clock, like most Vietnamese people wake up at between 4 and 5 p.m. I mean 5 a.m. I'm sorry, 5 a.m. in the morning. I'm not getting out of bed that early if I, unless I have to, right? But they get out of bed around, around, around that time to start their, start their day, get things done, and so on. And since this, uh, since this self-quarantine thing started, you know, people try to get things done as fast as possible, as early as possible, so they could be back inside. It's not necessarily saying that they, 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 are, they have to be inside 100%. A lot of the tourist areas, a lot of the expat areas, which I really don't go to the expat areas because when I first came to Vietnam, I decided to live within the Vietnamese community. That's why I know so much about, so much about Vietnam because my wife is Vietnamese, one. Uh, uh, um, um, two, I live in the Vietnamese community, so all of my knowledge comes from actual Vietnamese, from people that actually live here, right? Also, being that uh, Vietnam itself, like I said, going back to the time zone, people tend to be out at a certain time during the day. Between 11, I said between 10 and 11 to like 3, people are mostly indoors, you know, if, depending on how hot it is. If it's if it's two, the other thing Vietnamese people don't like much <laughs> is cold. Vietnamese do not do cold very well. Um, I saw a video of someone, someone saying, I mean, someone shot a video here, here in Vietnam. He's, he's actually a foreigner. And it, the person was, uh, was saying, you know, uh, um, there's nobody. It was showing that there was nobody out. But guess what? It was cold. It was windy. No one, I was actually out that day myself. There was nobody out. And if it's cold, and if it's windy, because Vietnamese people don't do two things very well. They don't like cold too much, and they don't like hot too much. <laughs> Although we live in a tropical country, they don't do those two things right. Now, if it's like mild temperature, mild and temperate, people will come out, and, and, and you'll see people everywhere. But if it's hot, no, you're not going to see a lot of people out. You're going to see people out maybe at the beaches and all that stuff, like Mi, like, uh, like Mihe, Mihe Beach, and, uh, and, and, and Phuc Mi. Uh, it's called Phuc Mi and Phuc Phuc. Fuk me, let's get it correct. And me K, me K Beach. Uh, me is pretty much me in America. And K is, I don't know what K means, but I know me, it's just M Y, me. It's, it looks like it's look like saying M E, me, but it's actually M Y, me. Okay? So me K and um, Fuk me are both clothes. You know, to any kind of, uh, but you can, it's not really clothes. You can actually go on the beach and walk around because a lot of people actually just go walk around and stuff like that. So, like I said, not to really say that people are, are embellishing lockdown. It's not really a lockdown. It's more of just, hey, be careful. Uh, a lot of the tourist areas are closed, you know, like along the rivers and all that, like along, along um, uh, uh, um, Han River, it's closed. A lot of the big expat areas are closed because in, in the, the expat areas caters to what? Expats, caters to foreigners, right? So that's what you're gonna get. You, you won't get nobody there because it's, a, it's an area that caters to basically foreigners. Me, on the other hand, I don't live in the expat area. I, like I said, I stayed away from it. I still do. I do have some expat friends. Don't get me wrong. I do have some expat friends that I do hang out with, and they're kind of the same way. They don't hang out in the expat areas. Now, you'll find the people who don't hang out in the expat areas or are not part of the expat community a lot more truthful in what they're trying to deliver in terms of Vietnam. So, please, please, please understand that when you're hearing, when you're watching videos about Vietnam, about Vietnam from, foreign, from a foreigner's perspective, it just depends on where that person lives and who that person socialized with. That person socialized with expats mostly, more than Vietnamese people, then you're gonna get just that point of view. 
if you get a person like myself, I'm actually all over. Uh, I've been dubbed by some, hey, you know, you're, like, you're more Vietnamese than actual Vietnamese themselves. You know, I, I love Vietnam. Vietnam is in my heart. I, I, I came here with the, with the ideology of learning the culture, learning the people, uh, uh, being part of the community, and so on. So that's my whole, you know, uh, consensus of being here in Vietnam is, is to be part of the community and really uh, and truly, you know, I love Vietnam. I'm sorry to say, I, I love Vietnam. I, I owe everything to America in terms of my foundation, but I just love, Vietnam has given me the opportunity to do a lot. And, and, and being here and being part of the community, uh, uh, all 90% of my friends here are mostly Vietnamese. And I, I actually had my birthday party here in Vietnam I, uh, 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 um, last year, when I was, uh, when I, well, last year, yeah, last year. And 90% um, of the people at my party, well actually, <laughs> there were only <laughs> three foreigners at my party, everyone else, so 99.9% .9 of the people at the party were Vietnamese. So that's how much love I got here. And that's what I try to bring on my YouTube channel is the true love and the true perspective of Vietnam. So um, subscribe and share, look for more. Um, the reason why I made this is because I see things on YouTube videos from people here in Vietnam who are not Vietnamese and it irks me sometimes when I see some of those videos because it's like 50% true, 50% not true. You know, because Vietnam is a developing country and you have to take it with it takes their information with a grain of salt. If you see certain things only catering to, hey, this is what's cool in Vietnam right now, and that, that person is just, you know, it's just a foreigner enjoying his time here in Vietnam, and maybe next year, maybe six months from now, they're gone, they're going back home. I'm here for the long run. I'm here, I've decided to make a life here, okay? A lot of my Vietnamese friends have asked me, you know, go back to America, right? I'm like, no, 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 no. I say, when I go back to America, I'm going back to visit. But for me, Vietnam is home. You know, that's basically it. Vietnam is home. And like I said, I love it here. I'm like, this, I, consider, I consider these people my people. You know, you, I don't have to be the same skin color. I don't have to speak the same language to call these people my people. You know what I mean? I've always been an outsider wherever I went. But for some apparent reason here in Vietnam, I feel like the insider. <laughs> so, uh, welcome to Vietnam. Subscribe and share, like I said. And really and truly, please and please, please, please be very careful of who you listen to when it, come, when it comes to Vietnam. Me, myself, I believed the hype a long time ago too. When I was, when I first came, before I came to Vietnam almost a year and a half ago, I also used to watch all these videos and people used to say, Vietnamese are racist, this and that. I mean, you can't get jobs because you need all this other stuff. Look, uh, uh, just to put it out there for some of you people who want to be teachers, you don't need all that. You don't need that. You don't need a bachelor's degree. I'm going to put it out there. But if you want to work at a university or something like that, a bachelor's degree might come in handy because you might need to be teaching a particular subject that that, that, that university wants. But if you want to get, get into the teaching game, don't need a bachelor's degree. You just need, you just need a TEFL, you know, that's going to help. And you just need maybe, to, you need to speak English. You need to be from an English speaking country, most notably, probably England and probably, uh, well not probably England, you need to be from England or the USA. Those, those two places are highly, are more highly in demand in terms of teachers speaking English that they're going to hire quicker because, you know, those are the two countries that they look at first. Then South Africa, you know, and, and yada, 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 yada. But on, on the dance, like right now it's hot, I'm sweating my ass off and there's barely anybody at Why? Because it's fuck, it's hot. I'm sorry for the F word, it's hot. It's hot. So, like again, you won't see a lot of Vietnamese out during a certain time, like right now where I'm at. They're probably thinking that this guy is crazy. He's sweating his ass off making a video. But I'm doing it, like I said, I'm doing it because I love this country a lot. And when I watch a lot of these videos, sometimes, I could I do. I mean, you, other YouTubers watch other YouTubers' videos. And, 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 and I'm not, I can't say that I don't do, but I do. So, on the downside, I just want to, you know, stay blessed, stay safe. Uh, subscribe and share and uh, um, look for more. Um, I, I'm a total unorthodox YouTuber. I don't do what everyone else do. I, I tend to do things from the Vietnamese people perspective, like I said, because I try to bring the community, the culture and the people to the world. I want the, people, I want the world to see Vietnam for the developing country, not Vietnam for 50 years ago or 60 years ago. That's fine and because I've actually been out to the countryside. So I've actually done things differently compared 
to a lot of people who like who told me before I came here, oh, don't drink the water, don't eat the food, don't do this, don't do that. And you know what? I came here and I have made all those people look like fools because I did it all and I'm still standing. Okay, I drank the food. Don't drink the water though. No, that, that's common sense. <laughs> don't drink the water. You can drink it, but you might end up in the hospital puking your guts out or something. So buy bottled water. But anyway, subscribe and share. Peace out. As you can see, it's about, uh, what time? It's about, uh, it's about like 3.45, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, now people are actually out. These are my next door neighbors. They're actually out and about playing, I think, fly ball. I'm not sure what this is, but most Vietnamese play it. Uh, a lot of people are enjoying themselves. So in terms of this lockdown that you guys hear, about uh, it's not a hundred percent a lot of things it's a self quarantine you know maintains uh, social distancing you know uh, and that's it so don't believe the hype like I say don't believe the hype all right a lot of people are trying to make videos about uh, about lockdowns and all that stuff and it's not really a full-on lockdown again it's not a lockdown and also um, just uh, just just think about the situation I mean the same thing in America you can't really say uh, uh, some people are still able to go out and do things and like I said they just they're just going out and they're doing what they need to do and going back in but you can't keep people totally isolated from getting out getting some exercise and, and and doing things you know as you can see right now there's a ton of people out and like I said this this depends on the time and here in Vietnam like I said the hotter it is less people out <laughs> Uh, the cooler it is, more people out. If it's cold, no one is out. So that's the other thing too. If it's cold, no one is out. <laughs> because Vietnamese don't like cold weather, they don't like it too windy. So it's kind of like a, a, a catch up. A, it's, like a, um, it's like a mixed bag of nuts, you know, between a rock and a hard place. And that's it. Alright, so um, let's be mindful. Peace.